Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be specifically on, on Android's phone st structure and folder. Android file managers can be a powerful tool for keeping your handset organized, but Android organizational structure seeming lack of one can be a little confusing for the casual browser or user. App data, pictures, music, and more are all accessed through a single starting folder, and that's certainly a different take to the hierarchy the PC and Mac users will be used to and so much more powerful than what is available to iOS users. With Android you won't have to access to the deepest Android system files with basic file manager or PC connection. Still this doesn't mean that you can't just delete any file at will in the Android file structure system. Here's a breakdown of some of the most common storage folders, what they are for and the ones you can delete. Storage hierarchy. Since Android is a Linux based OS, your handset features a Linux file system structure. Under the system there are six main partitions on every device boot system recovery, data, cache and miscellaneous. Micro SD cards also count as their own memory partition. Device that ships with Android 7 point Nougat and the introduction seamless updates adds in the second system partition, one of which is updated in the background and can be quickly switched to on reboot, making an update appear seamless. Here's a quick breakdown about what contained in each partition. Boot, the, this partition contains a kernel RAM disk required for the phone to boot when powered on. System, the system partition houses the operating system files also known as the ROM which includes the Android user interface and pre-installed applications. Recovery, an alternative option to booting into the OS, the recovery software can allow the user to back up and restore the other partitions. Data. This is the one which I find very confusing. Uh, whenever I browse my phone, I look at data, I just want to skip that. The data partition, however, saves user data ranging from contacts and messages to apps and music and is the partition you can access via file browser. This sector is wiped when performing a factory reset. Cache, Android stores frequently use data and app components here. This can be wiped to fix certain issues and is automatically rebuilt and updated over time as it passes by. Miscellaneous this partition contains other important system setting information such as the USB configuration, carrier ID and other hardware settings usually saved in the form of on or off switches. Without root access Android users only have access to the data partition and that's what you'll be looking at when connecting your phone up to a PC. So only data partition is available when you connect your USB to the laptop or browsing via file manager. Your micro SD card if applicable will also appear mounted under this user accessible data part which you can also access via PC or file app. Apps and common folders the data partition. With data background out of the way we know we now know that we don't have access to any of the core boot, recovery or Android system files when browsing through the data partition. So causing a catastrophic system failure would be pretty hard to do. This is because is, this is different for root users though. Even so we still need to be careful about what we do in this f sector as certain apps can rely on data save here and deleting or moving it can cause system in instability.
If your internal storage is looking a little full, you may notice that there are a number of folders here dedicated to apps, perhaps even leftover ones, that have uninstalled. As a rule of thumb, we don't recommend tampering with any app here, any app file, but if you have an uninstalled an app and notice that a folder is left behind, then there shouldn't be any harm to deleting the folder. So if you've deleted an app and you see the folder from that app there, then you can go ahead manually delete it. It's probably empty anyway or contains some log files that are no longer of any use. Even if you don't have many apps installed, by default this user data partition will contain a number of folders used for storing your contacts, pictures, music, etc. Here's a breakdown of the most common folders. Android, this is the default location used for app cache and save data not recommended to delete unless you don't mind losing your app data so doing so might cause some apps to malfunction alarm ringtones notification this folder stores custom audio files for alarms ringtones and notifications that can be used by some default and third-party apps Cardboard, this is another self-explanatory folder which contains data for some virtual reality apps but will otherwise be empty. DCIM, now this is the main one. Um, every time I take a picture it goes into this folder. Every time I record a video it goes into this folder. Pictures taken by your main camera app are saved in here. You'll find this folder created in on your micro SD card if you opt to, sa to save pictures there too. Downloads, anything that you download from the web browser such as Chrome or Firefox will appear here. Pictures, music, movies, videos. These will all default for various apps for media needs. Some apps will allow you to specify other locations, but most media players will search these directories by default. Screenshots are often saved in the pictures folders. Podcast, this folder is used by some apps to separate podcast files and rest of your music will be empty if you don't use a podcast app. So here's, it just talks about which storage folders can I or should I delete. Um, as always, all the links to the HTML files are in the video description box so you can browse the contents, uh, contents uh, in detail. I'm going to talk about the uh, Android file management, an easy to follow guide. So we are using our Androids uh, ever more than before, so it is, it is only common sense uh, to learn the file structure as best as possible. So in this article, the table of contents, managing files on your Android phone, supplementing your phone's local storage, transferring files between your phone and the computer, transferring files wirelessly between devices, syncing your Android phone storage with a computer. So this is another article. The links are in the description box. Transferring files between your phone and the computer is the most common uh, process that many people use. Transferring files wirelessly between devices. Now, this is an interesting one. I'm just skimming through this article. Um, the links are in the description box. Syncing your Android phone storage with the computer. And we've reached the end of the article. So full Android folder and file structure. Now if you go in the app folder and if you expand all of the folders in the Project Explorer, you will see a vast array of files and folders. Most of them are managed by Android Studio. We will focus on the key folders and the file types that we'll be using with the Android developers. So this is for developers. Uh, this is not basically for the average Joe. So these are called the manifest files. So if you look at the Android manifest XML, then Java folder, if you expand it, then you get the um, manifest activity 
then if you go to the RES folder and you there's you have further folders called the draw drawable layout MIP map and the values so this is for developers I'm not gonna get into it the article is also in the description box if you want to look at it further more in detail and this is what talks about each folder manifest folder this is where you would put your manifest file most Android app have a single manifest manifest file but an app may have several manifest files due to the application versioning or supporting specific hardware so it's just just get into that then the Java folder self explanatory the RES folder it contains folders that help you separate and sort resources of your application resources basically mean all the needed uh, files and accept the source code for example uh, while developing an app you need to include source resource files such as an app logo photos sound videos or animations each file should be added to its own folder or comply with the Android development standards so then the drawable folder which has a bitmap file nine patch file layer list state list level list uh, transition drawable insert draw inset drawable clip drawable scale drawable and shape drawable so now we get to the layout folder, MIP map folder, values folder. We'll just talk about the layout folder. The layout folder contains the XML files used for your layouts. These files are used to set up the layout for your activity and used for the basic alignment of your layouts and component widgets and similar. So while you're starting up your app, the app turns on and uh, everything is aligned properly so the user interface can be properly seen by the user on the phone display screen. The MIP map folder contains the launchable icon files and the launchable icon is a graphic file that app to users. The MIP map folder was introduced in Android 4.3 version. Values folder, the values folder is, uh, contains XML files and contains simple values such as strings, integers and colors. The values folders are used to keep track of the uh, for values you will be using in your application to create application the master maintenance cycle it is highly recommended to no longer hard code values into your code instead place values in XML files inside the values for etc etc you can look at these files yourself they're in the description box other folders animator anim color menu raw XML font great Gradle scripts and we have reached to the next section build and run your first Android app okay now we're just getting into developer stuff I'm not gonna get into that since the video is only uh, for Android file structure all the links I hope you've liked the today's video um, and um, all the links of all the source articles are in the videos description box uh, please comment leave your comment on and uh, if you like the video click the hands icon if you want to see more of these videos click the red button and uh, that's all folks for this